Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to fix your iPod Touch after you jailbroke it and you've got this recovery logo screen. And that happens a lot when you use the Mac jailbreak, um, which is called uh, Red Shells. That's the GUI jailbreak. There's other jailbreaks for the Mac. I'm going to show you in uh, my newest video. I'm going to upload a video right after this showing you how to jailbreak your iPod Touch 2G easiest way on Mac. Anyway, this is how to fix your iPod Touch. Every time you restore it, if you get the like the recovery logo or a white screen, like white screen instead of this, or a recovery logo, it's the same thing. I'm going to show you how to fix this. Okay, so first of all, what you're going to need to do is download this folder called iRecovery. It's going to be in the video description. It's going to be a zip file. So um, just extract that and open it up. Alright, now here's what you're going to get. Anyway, here's what you're going to get. You're going to get a couple of files. iRecovery.svn, ownboot.bin, command prop, and a couple of other files. First, what you're going to do, if you don't have it already, you're going to need libusb. So what you're going to do is right-click on this one, right-click, then go to properties. And then you go to compat compatibility. Then you use comp run compatibility of Windows XP. That's only if you're on Windows Vista. If you're on Windows XP, you don't have to worry about it. I already have U lib USB, so I don't have to worry about that too. So then what you're going to do is go into your command prompt in the file. And what you're going to do is go like this. You're going to type in C in your command prompt. Type in C D. And then what you can do is locate your iRecovery.application, iRecovery right there. Then go to properties. Then it's going to give you the location of the file. Highlight it. And then hit copy. And go over to your command prompt. And you have CD and hit space after CD. And then hit paste. And then hit enter. Now you're gonna, it's going to locate that folder. Then you're going to enter in some commands that I'm going to open up real quick. I need to go get the uh, text file that I have inside of it. So let me just pause this video and get to the uh, text file real quick. Okay guys, I'm back and I just located the code on my computer. So first what you're going to do is go over to your iPod Touch. Then, what you're going to do is put it into the SD mode, which is very simple. All you have to do is hold the home button and the power button for 10 seconds. And then let go of the power button and continue to hold the home button. Ready? I'm going to do it right now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then hold the home button and continue to hold the home button. Just give it a second and iTunes is going to pop up. My iTunes probably won't pop up because um, I have it off. Like I have the um, auto pop up on iTunes off, so I'm gonna open up iTunes right now. What are we doing? Just continue to hold the home button until iTunes opens up. If iTunes doesn't open up for you, then you just have to open it up manually. There you go. Alright guys, iTunes has just rec recognized it for me. And it's right there. Just click OK. And then X out iTunes. Or you can just minimize it because it's going to come up again. not want to download the update. Anyway, so let's go back to our command prompt. After you put your iPod Touch into DFU, what you're going to do is copy and paste the first code that I have in the video description over to the right in the video description. I'll have first code, second code. All you have to do is copy the first code and then click paste. And then it's going to run a, um, a, uh, a process. Then what you're going to do after you 
finish the process, what you're going to do is unplug your iPod Touch. And then plug it back in. And you're going to get a white screen. Then what you can do is put it down for now. Then go to the video description and copy the second code. And iTunes might pop up for you. Well, what you're going to do is go copy the second code in the video description. Just copy it like it is. And then right click paste. And then it's going to run the code. And it's already done. So then you can close out of command prompt. And close out of everything else. Yes, if you want to save it. And... Alright, so now that you're done with that, what you can do is restore your iPod Touch. Just click on Restore, and iTunes will do its thing. And your iPod Touch should work. If you still get the recovery mode, just repeat all the steps that I just showed you by watching the video again. But I'm pretty sure it will work the first time. And that's pretty much it. And um, maybe by tomorrow I'll upload a new video on how to jailbreak your iPod Touch 2G on a Mac. And it won't give you any problems whatsoever. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just click Restore right there. Just click that Restore button and you should be all set. Thanks for watching, everybody, and please subscribe.